Who are you when nobody's watching? When it's just you and your thoughts. There's no friends, there's no family. It's just you and your thoughts and that is it. The first thing you need to do is to stop escaping yourself. And I'm talking drugs, I'm talking alcohol, junk food, any type of substance that is distracting you from digging into yourself and finding yourself because that's what you came here to do. That's why you clicked on this video. You are trying to find yourself. And the best way to do that is to stop escaping yourself. You need to face these thoughts, that inner voice inside of you. What does she have to say? What does he have to say? I don't know what it is. You know what it is, right? I can't tell you what that voice is saying. You can tell yourself what that voice is saying instead of telling it shh like be quiet and honestly if you're anything like me you really need to audit who it is that you're surrounding yourself with because i used to hang out with people that made me kind of want to quiet that voice and escape that voice and made me feel bad about it so that's why i would go and i would drink and i would smoke and i would do anything to shut that voice up so if you're surrounding yourself with people that are like making you kind of feel that way you need to get rid of them please you need to stop surrounding yourself with people that are making you tell that voice shh because you don't want to keep doing that you want to listen you want to find yourself you want to know who you are that is how you figure it out and the best way to really do this is to find somewhere that's quiet i'm talking like the woods nature anything simple and easy your car personally for me i like running a hot bath candle lit total darkness and that's how I'm able to really tap in and figure out what is that voice trying to say. And everyone's different, right? I just want you to understand that you don't need to overcomplicate it because honestly, like I used to think, oh, I need to go deep into the woods so no one can hear me. Like if it gets weird, right? It's not gonna get weird. That's just your brain overthinking it, right? And it's a lot easier than you think. So just make it as easy as possible. Stop overcomplicating it. Cause around here, we make the good things easy and the bad things difficult. Just figure out a nice, safe place for you to just touch into yourself and tap into your senses and figure out who you are. And then I want you to ask yourself some deep questions. Whatever comes up, really, you don't have to write anything down in particular. It's just anything that comes up, that voice, right? Ask yourself more about that. If your voice is like, I don't really know if this thing that I want to do is really what I want to do for the rest of my life. Dig deeper, be like, well, why is that? Why do I feel this way? Why is this coming up? Just dig into it and evaluate it, but don't judge it. Don't say this is good or bad. Just be like, okay, just acknowledge it is what I'm trying to say. Like, don't say like, this is so bad or this is so good, right? I'm so happy this is coming up. Just acknowledge it and then do it again. The more often that you go into that place alone, just with your thoughts, no friends, no family, nobody else except for you, that's how you're really going to dig in and figure out who you are. When my mom passed away, actually, this is what I did. And this really helped me. I was doing what I currently still do. I juggle YouTube and my small business. And I discovered that this just really wasn't my calling anymore. This small business of mine. And I wouldn't have been able to figure that out if I hadn't figured out being alone in the tub, total darkness, just a candle lit and doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. Just take it slowly is also what I want to stress on. If you rush into this process and you expect you to find yourself and what it is that you need to do with your life, it's going to backfire, right? And you're not going to be able to figure out those answers in a way that you want to. It could get ugly. I would just say, take this slowly. Don't rush this process because when you rush this type of process, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea personally. I don't think it's a good idea, but for me, I knew I didn't need this. I knew that I was strong. I knew that I could get through this. You do need to have that inner strength. You need to be able to face the things that come up that you're not comfortable with and just dig through them slowly but surely. Something that you should really try to focus on is are you taking pictures and videos for social media for you or is it for other people? Because when you are doing it for you, it's a more fulfilling life and you wanna give value to others and you wanna motivate others and you wanna inspire others. That's what life's all about. If you're doing it to impress other people and to seek validation from other people, that is not a authentic life to you. So that's a good question to ask yourself when you're by yourself. Am I doing this to impress other people or am I doing this for me? Would I do this if nobody was watching? And another example would be, like, would you give money to a homeless person just because? 
right? Or would you do it just to record it? Like that would be another example of what I'm trying to talk about. Obviously most people would just give the money and not record it, but there are people out there that just do it to record it. So that's really what you need to dig in and figure out for yourself. Would you still do this thing even if no one was watching, even if you didn't get that validation for it, right? Make sure that you're living a life that is truly aligned with a good purpose. And that is how you can really find yourself. So don't just ask yourself these questions, act upon them, see what happens, right? See if you're posting things to social media that you just don't really feel aligned with. Like, is this something I would do just because, or am I doing this to seek validation from others, to impress other people? And once you figure out are you doing things for other people or are you doing it for yourself? You'll soon realize that there's a lot of things that you're doing for other people. And what you need to do is kill your ego. And you have to stop doing these things for other people. You really do. Because it's not helping you live a life that is truly yours. And it's not helping you figure out who you are. Once you kill your ego and you stop doing things for other people and you're living a life that is intentional and something that you want to wake up and get out of bed for, that's when you live a fulfilling life. You're doing things for yourself, even when no one is watching. You're doing it for yourself because you're trying to improve yourself. It's like when you're at the gym and you're lifting weights, right? And you're just doing just enough. You're gonna do more because you killed your ego. You're gonna do more because you care about yourself and you love yourself and you want the best for yourself. That's what killing your ego is. You're just doing everything that you can to make yourself feel better. You'll stop caring what other people think. You'll stop caring. What if they're judging me? That won't matter anymore because that's your ego. You stop caring what other people think when you kill your ego. You have to do this slowly but surely. It's not an overnight fix. It's not an all or nothing type of thing here. It's just slowly but surely you keep saying it to yourself like, who cares? Who cares what they think? I don't care anymore. I'm doing this for me. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do with their lives. This is my life and I choose what I want to do with it. Not my parents, not my friends, not my, nobody, nobody except for you. That's it. Another way to kill your ego is to be grateful for what you have. Instead of saying, I have to do this, say, I get to do this. I get to do this. I get to record videos. I get to go to my job. I'm alive. I'm healthy. I get to do this. It's not like I, I have a couple of days left to live, right? Most of us don't. Most of us are young. Most of us are healthy and we have so much to live for. And that is how you kill your ego. You have to think about the positives over the negatives. You have to think bigger. You have to do better and you have to be bolder with your life. Stop living small. Stop thinking like, oh, I can't do this. You can do this. You can do anything you want with this life. This life is yours. Stop acting like other people are in control of what you do with your life, right? It is not like that. It's not as much as it seems like that because your subconscious mind has been told for so many years since you were literally born, right? As soon as you came into this world, your subconscious mind was taking in everything and now you understand that that's just not the way it is. You can tell your subconscious mind what to do. It's like an instructions, right? Your subconscious mind can't say whether something's good or bad. It just follows instructions. It just says, okay. So you tell it what to do. You tell it, I don't care about what other people think anymore. I am grateful to be alive today. I am thankful that I get to do this. Every time you do that, your subconscious mind says, Okay, I understand this is what we're gonna do because it's just following your instructions. You have to instruct your subconscious mind in order for it to understand. But you know what else you need to do? You need to practice self-compassion. If you talk to yourself in a negative way, you'll never be able to take yourself seriously and you'll never be able to believe it. You have to tell yourself things that you can believe and over time, it'll get easier and you'll be able to believe in bigger and better things. But at first, just tell yourself something that's believable. Tell yourself something that's easy so that you can believe it. You also wanna make sure that you're not comparing yourself to others when you're doing this, right? You don't wanna be comparing yourself to your friends and your family and your romantic partners, anybody in your life. You do not want to be comparing yourself to them because you are not them. They are living a completely different life. They have a totally different perspective. What they want with their life isn't necessarily 
what you think you want with your life, even though it may seem so luxurious and so juicy and so dream worthy, right? It may not be a good fit for you. Everybody lives a different life and you cannot expect your life to feel the same as theirs ever. It's two completely different journeys. Your life is different and has different tastes to it, has different perspective to it. You see things differently. You feel things differently. You experience things differently. You will not feel the same way as that other person does. So stop comparing yourself to their life. Stop comparing your life to their life. They're different. So you got to stop doing that. And once you feel like you've gotten through killing your ego, even just a little bit. I'm not saying, like I said, I don't say all or nothing. I don't say it's done overnight, right? It's a slow process. As long as you just start the process instead of pushing it off, give yourself a self-assessment. How did it go? What could happen better next time? What could you do differently? Are things working in progress? Are they getting closer to where you wanna be? Are you finding things out about yourself that you're happy about? that you're sad about, that you're mad about. Just give yourself an assessment. Just figure out like, hey, you know what? Mm, I think I should try this again. Or maybe I should really work on this thing. Or you know what? Like maybe try a different place. Maybe the tub didn't work out. Maybe you had that time alone in the tub, hot water, candle lit, and it just wasn't for you. Try sitting in your car instead. Try going into nature instead. Rate yourself. See how you did. Did any truths or lies come up through the process? Did you find out that you've been lying to yourself about something? Maybe something you thought you were really excited about. You were like, mm, I was kind of doing that to impress other people. I should probably stop doing that and see how I feel afterwards. Maybe you found out that you are really excited about something and that you are passionate about something. Figure that out, write it down. And you can rate yourself in any way. I'm saying like rate it on a one to 10, rate it good or bad, rate it eh, like man, like I don't know about this. So let me try this again, right? You don't wanna just be so hard on yourself and be like, it has to be done this certain way and done this certain time and this and that. Like that is just keeping you small and it's keeping you stuck. And we don't wanna do that anymore. That's like perfectionism type of behavior. And I used to be like that. I used to be like, it has to be done in this perfect way. I have to get this journal out. I need to do like one through 10, like all that stuff. I'm saying you could do this in your head. Like you don't have to take this so seriously. You just need to do it. You gotta do something. Just getting out and figuring out who you are, getting away from people. Stop surrounding yourself with the wrong people that are quieting that voice that are telling you like, you shouldn't listen to that. Like that's silly. That's dumb. These people need to get cut out of your life, by the way. Like, please, if you've got people like that, find out sooner than later. The longer you spend time with people like this, the harder it's going to be to find yourself, the harder your life is going to be because you're not going to be living a life filled with purpose and fulfillment that way. The sooner you figure out who you are, you will live a life of purpose. You will live a life of fulfillment. You will know what it is that excites you. You will know how to get out of bed every morning and go after your big dreams. And you'll feel so much lighter and you'll feel so much more thankful and appreciative of all the good things in life. It'll be easier to be like, I'm grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. I can look at positive over negative. I am totally myself, like this is me. I feel good, I'm not wearing this mask. I don't feel like I'm an imposter anymore. And it doesn't happen overnight though, I'm telling you. like. This process can take up to a year. So please don't expect it to be like a, I'm ready, I'm here, this is me. It just, <sighs> I wish it was that easy. I really do. And maybe it will be for you. I can't say for sure. What I can say is that the sooner you do it, the easier it is, and the faster you'll figure it out. And everyone's just different. I, I really wish I could say like, this is, this is a quick, easy fix. This is a quick, easy thing to figure out. But maybe it is for you. Maybe you're kind of close to it and you just need to take that time to cut out the screen time, to cut out watching TV, to cut out the junk food, to cut out drinking the wine on the Friday night and instead taking that bath and just tapping in. Maybe it'll be easy. Maybe your inner voice is ready to scream at you and be like, this is what I want. I'm so glad that you finally wanted to listen. And that's all it is. And listen, once you figure out what your purpose is, right? And who you are and what goals you have, 
I can work with you and we can get you going after it because I want the best for you. I want to see you going after it. If you don't have somebody sitting down next to you right now telling you like, hey, you gotta go after this thing, then you need me helping you. You need to talk to me and get going. You need to get after it. We need accountability in our lives in order to go after the things that we want. So if that sounds like you, scroll down right now, click on the top link in the description and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.